Welcome back to the Tracy Trendy Show, my lovelies. Another day, another dollar, and another holler. Yes, Mary hollered and called and said that Mocha has been arrested. She called me early this morning. Now, if you guys don't know Mocha, he is Justine and Mike's manager. Well, just mostly Mike's manager. All right. He's the guy that's living in Vegas. He's the manager that is going to bring Michael up to the higher echelons. But regardless of how you feel about Michael, just push that to the side for now. Because uh, yesterday, my loves, yesterday around 6.30ish, there was a major incident. And Michael posted it on his Instagram. So anyway, anyhow, Mary's on the scene. So if you want the latest detail, I would suggest you check out her blog. It is Word on the Street reality.com word on the street reality.com now let's give you i'm gonna give you the backstory okay so mocha was doing an interview a youtube interview with uh lord lucan you know that british guy with the accent and everything well that's a little country accent i did but anyway he was being interviewed and everything was going hunky dory pretty much so until at a certain point at the 42 mark in the video. So let's watch this video, my loves. I think it occurs a little bit earlier than that. That person that always have your back. And that's what I didn't have. So I said, you know I'm what, gonna, I'm older. I'm gonna jump in, I'm gonna jump in just a wee touch there. I think, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna drag oh. you back, drag you back. So yeah, jump, jump, jump. Jump. Okay, there you see it, my loves, the screen goes black. Uh, I don't know what happened there. Maybe the uh, screen goes black, and Lord Lucan was trying to get in contact with Mocha to no avail. Then, before that incident, while that was being handled, all that was going to, while Mocha was being interviewed, before that, his girlfriend was outside with her two kids, and there was a man in his forties. Apparently, he knew. Mocha, and the girlfriend, and everybody, all three knew each other. There was an argument that ensued. The man took a bat out of his trunk and started bashing cars in the neighborhood or in the driveway, depending on what, what uh, story you're going to listen to. Then the man barges into the home, kicks the door down, and then he makes his way to where Mocha is and interrupts the interview. Then... Something happens in the home, shots were fired perhaps, but definitely according to Mocha, he did shoot the guy outside in the backyard. The cops get there, you know, they try to help him, save him, but he just was, he didn't make it, my loves. They put, brought in Mocha. They did not arrest Mocha. Cause I'm like, really now you get an intruder and you get arrested? But no, they brought him in for questioning interrogation and all that interview process with the detectives and mary's going to give us an update but this made major news so some people wasn't believing this was true but this made major news my love let's see the well the vegas news just give it a minute to pull up let's see good evening let me move it up a little bit we're currently conducting at the 700 block of Bloomingfield Lane. This is located in the area of Buffalo and Alta within our Summerlin Area Command. Earlier tonight, earlier this evening at approximately 6.42 p.m., officers from the Summerlin Area Command were dispatched to a report of a shooting that occurred inside a residence at the 700 block of Bloomingfield. The initial details, uh, the caller indicated that her boyfriend had shot a male inside the residence. As officers arrived on scene, they located a female in front of the driveway along with two juveniles. While during their initial conversations with her, she indicated that her boyfriend was still inside the residence. Officers then formed an arrest team. They went into the house. They made contact with the boyfriend who was taken into custody without incident. During their initial contact with him, he indicated that there was a male that he shot that was inside the backyard. Officers then cleared the rest of the residence, went into the backyard where they did locate a black male who had been shot. They then began to provide medical aid until medical arrived and unfortunately pronounced him deceased here on scene. Homicide is here. We are conducting our investigation. Based on preliminary details, we know the following. We know that prior to the shooting, the female who lives at the residence 
was involved in an altercation with our deceased male in front of the residence. That during that altercation, the male removed a bat from the back uh, trunk area of a vehicle and began to hit several of the vehicles that are parked in the driveway of the residence. It is then a scene that he goes towards the front door of the residence. The front door of the residence does appear it was kicked in. At some point in time, he then makes it to the backyard area of the house, uh, and then that's when the gunshots occur. Right now, we're still uh, confirming all the information. We're still on scene, conducting our investigation, conduct getting our video surveillance, and interviewing several witnesses in the area. Those are the details that we know right now. I urge anyone with any information related to this investigation to please contact the LVMPD Homicide Section or reach out through Crime Stoppers Nevada. With that, I'll take any additional questions you may have. What was the age of the victim? Okay, there you the have it. The age of the victim is a male in his 40s. And did the woman know the man who had the bat who had the beam shot? We do believe that she knows him. We are not positive on their relationship at this point in time. And how old was the male who shot the victim? He's a male in his 30s. It sounds like this was an isolated incident, but what would you say to people in this neighborhood who are nervous about this? We've had a couple neighbors ask us what's happening and no, I appreciate you asking, and I, I would be nervous too if I lived in the area not knowing what was going on. Right now, this does appear to be an isolated incident. Uh, this is not a random act of violence. These two parties obviously knew one another, in my opinion, based on what I preliminary know right now. There is no one outstanding as it pertains this uh, this incident. And please, if you do have any information, though, please provide it to us so we can conduct a thorough investigation. Okay, my loves, there you have it. There you have it. Mocha is not arrested. He was just pulled in for the investigation and interrogation with the detectives because he seems like he's a victim here, not the this you know the the person that did not make it. All right. So what do you guys think of that? Subscribe if you have not subscribed. Um, hit the notification bell because you know YouTube plays tricks. Drop a line below. Follow Mary's blog, my love. She's the first with this story. She did all the dirty work and all pulled up all of these um, news reports that are showing all across YouTube. So give us some support. All right, my loves. I will check you all out on the flip side.